All right, y'all. Good morning. What's up? It's story tour, <laughs> story tour, story tour in the tour one time. Story time in the car one time. Looking greasy as usual. So, see, I got my hair braided. Nene came down and braided your girl's hair. Got my little mole sticking out on the side. She got me a little design real quick. But that is not the basis for this story. So, um, thought I'd share with you guys. I don't know if you guys caught like the last um, <clears throat> video I had. Well, maybe a couple videos ago. Uh, I was talking to you guys and I was telling you I was at DMV and I was taking my driver's test because uh, I hadn't had my license in a very long time. So I'm going to tell you why. Because shit, I just feel like telling y'all why. So, back in like fucking, God, it's 2016. So I haven't, <laughs> I have not had my license since, fuck, like 2000. You heard right, since 2000. That was 16 years ago. So, the reason why this happened, for one... You know, when me and uh, Ray stayed out in Pittsburgh, any, I, um, I don't, I can't remember initially what happened, but I got some tickets, uh, probably for speeding and shit, didn't have a job, didn't pay my tickets, they suspended my license. So what basically kept happening, I was a fucking knucklehead back then, didn't really care, didn't give a fuck, I'm gonna just do me, um, and... I just kept driving around the same areas, you know what I mean, locally, um, getting pulled over by, like, the same police, and so I found myself in and out of court, getting my license suspended, suspension, on top of suspension, on top of suspension, fees on top of fees, when it's all said and done, um, it probably doesn't sound like much, but I think over time I've probably paid the state of California at least like three or four grand <laughs> worth the tickets over time. So when I got out here, now mind you, back in 99, uh, that's when I graduated high school. I went to the military and uh, I got my first car, at least my, well, was buying my first car, at least it, whatever you want to call it. I got a Dodge Neon. It was a stick shift, a white one, a little two-door. Drove that shit out here uh, all the way from uh, Norfolk, Virginia. So I drove cross-country by myself when I was, like, 18. Like, I had barely turned 18. Because um, I got hella nervous and shit when I was in the Navy. I was on an aircraft carrier. Uh, it was called the Eisenhower. It was stationed out of Norfolk, Virginia. And I was already hella far from home. But I think I got spooked when it was time for us to actually go out and get deployed and go to sea. So I did spend some time at sea, but only like a couple weeks. But when they said we were getting ready to go to the Gulf, I was like, I'm cool. Like, I don't even want to go. So I'm about to make up some shit to get out. So long story short, got out the military. Um, have an honorable discharge. <laughs> but they put on my uh, my uh, DD-214, which is your military discharge uh papers that i had <laughs> homosexual conduct uh so i never show my papers and stuff because i think that was just kind of like a a rude way of kind of labeling and you know barring me you know from the military or whatever so um from there you know i drove cross country in this car me and Ray, I got together. I had the car for like a little bit of time. And I don't know at what point in our life, like we just started like, you know, kind of, you know, tripping out. But basically like we used to be into, um, not be into, but you know, we used to get into like physical altercations and shit, you know what I mean? So I fucking, we're driving one day down the street and we're hella mad at each other. And we're like, literally like slapping each other in the car, just like, psh, psh, just slapping the shit out of each other. I ran into a big rig truck, totaled my car. So now the moral... <laughs> The reason for me telling you this story is the car was totaled, uh, so the tow yard said, I can't get my car back because I couldn't afford it, license gets suspended again, whatever. So, this was in 2000. Um, I go, fast forward to now, all my tickets are paid from California, 16 years later, and I knew this, this is hella crazy, but um, we move out here to Vegas, and I'm like, oh, finally, you know. Uh, paid off all my tickets, 
me and Ray go down to DMV to get our license and shit. I'm all happy. And the lady's like, yeah, we can't help you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, you got a ticket from uh, <laughs> Norfolk, Virginia. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I never got a ticket out there. She's like, yeah, um, it's a ticket, um, you know, basically for failure to pay your insurance. And I'm sitting here thinking, what the fuck? So I get on the phone and I call Virginia. Apparently for 16 years, my license has been suspended <laughs> nationwide um, due to failure to show proof of insurance. Well, I was young. I was 18, just, bar just barely turned 18, getting out the military. I'm sure I had insurance because we would get in trouble. We didn't have like, you know, proper documentation, but it was so long ago. Like I have no records of what insurance company I was with or anything. For all I know, the insurance company may not even exist anymore. So it boiled down to me paying a last like uh, $600 to have that uh, suspension removed. And I forget what it's called in Virginia, but basically there's no statute of limitation on this fee that they fine you for not having insurance. So it's either you prove that you had insurance or you pay the fee. The fee is like $600. They never take it off your record. So I've been driving around for 16 years, <laughs> dirty, like capital D on fucking dirty. Like I've been driving around dirty for so fucking long that I've even been nervous even having my license to some extent and tagged up insurance, everything, like, even when I see the police, like, I still get nervous, because that's still that mentality that I was doing, you know, doing something bad, so, that was my, uh, story, I finally paid that ticket about a month or so ago, and your girl finally got her license, after 16 years, and about four or five thousand dollars, it's really ridiculous, but not all the time that I have money to be breaking the ass off for all these tickets, so it took me a really long time, plus I was flip-flopping through life, you know, going to school, work, whatever I was doing, you know, what I mean, trying to, you know, make a better life for myself. And at the time, you know, my partner, you know, this before Ty was in the picture, sometimes I couldn't afford to pay them tickets and shit, you know, so I really couldn't do anything down there until we moved out here, you know, so I finally, finally did it. It's finally official. I will show y'all my driver's license, but then y'all have my government, my address, you know, date of birth, all the shit. Y'all know my date of birth. Y'all know how old I am, but but y'all can't have all the other shit. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I would share that with y'all before I get up in here and go to this job. Um, I'll probably have some video footage to put up later. Uh, Ray's friend, Vrene, she hasn't seen since like forever. Um came out to visit us you know we all had a good time we were all pretty fucking wasted like <laughs> for the most part <laughs> so yeah i'll uh put up some video footage when i you know cut and chop everything out or cut and chop everything up uh later then i have a cousin i haven't seen in about four years or so uh or her kids uh she has twins i think they're like 15 or 16 now but they was my babies when they were small so they get ready to come out here hopefully this weekend and um it's Easter Sunday. I have no idea what we're getting into. So yeah, that's my story time for the morning. So I'm gonna get up in here and get to work. Y'all could comment if y'all want to. I really don't know what y'all would say to this situation, to be honest. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure I can't be the only one, you know, some of y'all got DUIs, revoked licenses and shit. So don't judge me. But yeah, I'll holler. Have a good day. Bye.